Don't eat the crayon, Mark. Please. It's not strawberry. God, no! I said no! Hey guys, Coastal GX here, back at it again here at South Padre Island. It is so, so rainy out here, bad, bad weather. Uh, probably not perfect beach weather, I'll tell you that much. I'm here with my son, Robbie. He's joining me today, and uh, there's a bunch of friends that are gonna be joining us as well. We really wanted to come out here and see how it would be to camp out, you know, probably try to bring you that experience during less than ideal weather situations or weather conditions out at South Padre Island. So bear with us. Hopefully this will turn out to be a good, uh, a good uh, video for you. Likewise, gotta pay 14 bucks right here, okay guys? All right, no shortcuts. We made it in, exact words from the guy at the booth. Hey, it's high tide, you know, it's at your own risk, you know, so yeah, we're, we're well aware of that. We're gonna take it easy. The good news is that it's, I guess it's been raining a lot. So what that's done, it's, it's compacted the sand a lot. So, you know, compact sand makes it a lot easier to grant, uh, get traction and uh, you won't get stuck as easily. Uh, I, should, I brought communications, but I don't know if the boys have their, their radios on. I'm gonna give it a try right now and see if they're responding to it. Um, but look, son, right here, you can still see a few families, you know, just a few, uh, well, that wouldn't, I wouldn't call it, that's more of a couple, not a family there, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> but they're out here. Some people still decided to come out here. <clears throat> Check it out. So it's been raining, it's been storming, and look at how the waves are coming in. You're already trying to see how they're getting kind of high. I don't know if you can tell with the camera. But uh, you see how close the water's getting to the edge right here? It's getting so close to those dunes and then it will not allow any passage for other vehicles, I guess, to continue. You can get landlocked if you go past a certain point. That high tide comes in and uh, if it's a little too much for your vehicle, you could get landlocked and you're gonna have to spend some time on the other side of those dunes. Uh, also, you don't wanna be going through, you know, the salt water. I know we do that once in a while. Uh, trust me, guys, it's not like, it's not that simple. Like as soon as we get we get off the island, we give it a wash down. Um, when we get home, you know, we really get under that, that undercarriage as well. We don't mess around. We don't mess around, so. You know, got to take care of our vehicles as, as much as possible, you know, and, uh, but that's what they're for, right? You know, our vehicles are, are meant to be used. That's why we bought four by fours, right? You know, to come and use them, not to just have them look all pretty and, you know, mall crawling and stuff. But anyway, you know, we're out here, check out this, uh, right here at this dune. You see how close it gets. The water's getting really close. Where at one point, this thing might just be touching all the way up here. And right here, normally where we're driving would have been very loose sand and it would have made it a little rougher on uh, the vehicle, a little harder to go uh, drive by, but because that water has soaked into that sand, it makes it compact. This is actually a good thing, you know, to drive in these conditions when the sand is, is uh, wet because 
it makes it uh, more compact and it's easier to uh, travel on it check it out let's see what's going on over there it looks like uh, we got some some uh, fishermen out there I got a fishing rig we got a fishing rig right in front of us here though no, look at that, all that debris by the way that's that's what we're trying to avoid here the high waves that will bring in the debris and if you're not paying attention or if this is at night you can uh, run over this and uh, you're gonna find yourself in trouble but you see how it is right now there, we really don't have much of a choice we're gonna have to take the wet area right here and you kind of time the waves you know so you can go when the waves are are going back so that you don't have to have all that salt water you know hitting your vehicle uh, but anyway we're gonna continue and let's see if we can find our friends out here yeah so we're turning around over here at this spot and we're gonna turn back and uh, we're gonna go to a stretch of beach where it's a little wider so that we don't uh, have any issues So this is what's going on. This is what we were trying to avoid. We didn't want to set up in a spot where we're gonna be pretty much putting ourselves in a bad situation where we're gonna get landlocked. Uh, I was looking for the other guys that had come up here. Uh, apparently they had already made it all the way past north uh, when the tide wasn't as bad. But now, uh, as you can tell, you know, it's not as bad as, I've seen it all the way up here, guys. I've seen that water, but look, look at all the stuff right here. You see all this debris? Can you take a look at that, son, over there? Yeah, see all those logs, all this trash right here? That will give you, look, look at this one right here. Look at how nasty this is. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I'm gonna tell you something. If that, if that water is all the way up here, okay, if those waves are hitting the very top you're driving your vehicle okay unless you have a really lifted vehicle or something special which i do not my, my vehicle stock okay you know you're asking for it okay you're asking for all this debris to cause damage to your tires or even worse your uh the underbelly of the vehicle not to mention all the salt water that's hitting your vehicle right you know so look at this look, look at the way it's coming in so in this situation I have to take it really slow, okay? Or else, I'll, if, if I go fast, what I've learned from the past, if I go fast, all this water kicks up. Not only that, but I'm trying to time, I slow down a little bit more when the water reaches up, but I'm trying to time it. You see how the waves, they come in waves, literally come in waves. But when I do that, you know, that's when you're supposed to go a little bit faster. But then they come in, and they're touching your vehicle you want to slow down a little bit so you got to kind of time the waves as they're as they're going back into the ocean that's when you're supposed to you know take the high ground the problem is that sometimes you have vehicles coming <clears throat> you have vehicles coming the, from the other side and it gets into a narrow situation you know but look at this look at this you see you see look here now we're having to go through the water and look look at these huge uh, pieces of log right here. It's impossible to see this. It's impossible to see this, you know? So this is ridiculous. This is uh, not what you want. You don't want to put yourself in a situation like this, you know? Um, could we have made it? Guys, could we have made it all the way? Absolutely, man. You can make it. You can still make it. Just be smart, whatever. But you're risking it right it's not about hey my truck is this or i have this kind of vehicle this one nothing happened no every vehicle can get stuck every vehicle is vulnerable you know just you can be better prepared but it doesn't mean that your vehicle is uh is going to be able to handle everything that you throw at it that's not that's not true that's a fact you know you'll see every every any vehicle can get stuck it also depends on the driver right and how well prepared you are but anyway you know, we're gonna make it back. We're gonna take it back um, up to a point where we feel comfortable because we wanna do some surf fishing and we wanna camp out as well. But we wanna get to a spot 
where we're gonna be able to still kind of get closer. We can't be on the dunes, but closer to the dunes, okay? Closer to the dunes, and uh, so we can do some surf fishing as well. But uh, yeah, I'm telling you, you know, you want adventure, you get out here. You can, you'll find adventure, man. It'll find you. We started fishing before the storms rolled in, but that didn't last long. Because we found Stormy on the beach today, the demon Stormy, and uh, she brought the rain in. Till this very day, I think picking up Darlene, that mannequin head, I think that was a curse. You're a sick man, Mark. You're a sick man. Hey, man, it's Marine in his grave. <laughs> Just don't eat it, okay? Don't eat the crayon, Mark. Please. It's not strawberry. God, no! I said no! It's getting real dark real quick. Do you hear that? There's some thunder going on. I'm trying to rush to get this camera equipment on. Look at, look at the way it looks over there. And then you pan this way. I think it's gonna rain. I think that rain is gonna get us. And it's gonna get us fast. Gotta get this camera ready. Cause we don't want to miss this event. We came out here knowing that it was gonna storm. We got Mark over there taking pictures. Look at this guy. Our eyes were fixated on the storm, and that's when it happened. My entire pole is gone. No way. Yeah. Do, do you want me to throw out and see if I can't hit it? On the it's ball? probably gonna be going that way, bro. No, I'm so sorry. Dude. Yeah, it's. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Of that overland title. Freaking uh, Brian thinks he's uh, some sort of uh, what do you call it? Some sort of uh, UFO. Well, there isn't much to do in a rainstorm, so we talked some trash and had a coffee infused brew for breakfast, courtesy of Mark. How's that? Let's eat a Rachel too. I'm a little confused because it is a uh, beer and it is also coffee. Then again, I think it's only like 9.30 in the morning. So I think it's, it's the perfect brew for this situation. If it's the morning, if it's a uh, morning time and uh, you just lost your, your entire surf rig to the ocean and you're in the middle of a storm and you're out at South Padre Island, this is the right brew for you. Okay guys, so this is what I'm gonna to try to do. I barely have one bar, just one bar. I'm gonna to try to call my wife because I'm trying to figure out what the radar is doing and obviously I don't have enough data to, to do that and it's just not working for me. Uh, maybe I should invest in one of those, uh, what are they called, those boost antennas, you know, to boost your signal. However, right now it's just bad. And so I'm gonna call her up Maybe she can, maybe she can help me out and uh, she can check the radar for me at home and to find out if this is just a traveling cell, this is just something that's going by or we really have to hunker down for this one. That's if it works. We have it. We have it. Now all we need is for her to pick up. Come on, 
one Cassie pick up you have reached the voice mailbox of <laughs> nine, five, six, hey at six, least I have a lifeline seven oh, there's, zero, oh, seven I got eight. Jonathan <laughs> Jonathan Jonathan are y'all out there bro I got you on camera right now we're out at the beach you what? and I have Jonathan with Overland Nomad three point slow on the phone right now. Can you hear me? I, I'm recording uh, for the channel right now and you are on the phone. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of cutting out, but uh, y'all are out there then? Bro, we are out here past mile marker 12. Not good. Okay, uh, I'm on my way, but man, the storm is crazy. I oh. can't even see in front of me. Now, did you hear that, guys? That is Jonathan from Three Point Slow. What was that? And this crazy bastard is coming over here to join us in our terrible moment. John? John, can you hear me? John? Well, so so much for that. <laughs> we lost John. I was trying, I was about to tell him, don't come to the island. It's not good right now. Let, let us be your guinea pigs. I think we I think we made a mistake. Hey guys, so last weekend, or last time we were out here, I was out here with Samantha and the gang, and uh, I had something very unfortunate happen to me. Uh, I lost my old friend, my safari hat, that's been with me through so many adventures. Uh, I've been close to losing it a couple of times. One of them, it fell in the water. I was with my cousin Carlos and my, my daughter Samantha, and I was able to retrieve it. Everything went great. This time around, I wasn't so lucky. We were driving back home after our trip, and a gust of wind just took it off my head, went out the window, and yeah, I, it was, oh my God, did you all see that? That's messed up. Yeah, that's, that's what we're dealing with right now. But anyway, uh, I wasn't able to retrieve it. I lost that hat forever, very dear to me. I posted on social media, you know, kind of made a little funny video with it. And a friend of mine and subscriber to the channel uh, saw this and his name is Rick Cantu, awesome, classy guy, avid fisherman, loves the outdoors. This guy lives and breathes, you know, uh, fishing and hunting. But anyway, Rick saw that. He was like, damn, Robert, I feel so bad for you. I know you had been through so many adventures with uh, with your safari hat. Guess what? You know, uh, I have another one with a lot of character. It's got your name written all over it. If it fits you, it's yours. So I wanna say thanks to Rick. Thank you for the safari hat. It fits perfect. Got that from him. It's, it, it's bringing the, the good vibes from Rick. Okay guys, I'm testing out my road, my road micro uh, lavalier microphone. It's a wireless microphone. I just got it. I don't know how it's going to do in this uh, wind. Um, some people have been asking me, hey Robert, what do you use when you're out here shooting? So I use a drone. It's a Maverick Pro, the Platinum Edition with a Fly More package. And I also use a couple of uh, GoPro 7 Blacks. I also use a dash cam with dual camera setup. And of course, uh, you know, usually have like a camera harness on me. I was using the Rode Micro, um, uh, little microphone, the one with the dead cat on it, that little fuzzy thingy. But that thing was just not doing it for me. For some reason, it was crapping out all the time. I'm sure you've seen it in a couple of, of videos that I've done where I have a lot of video issues or audio issues rather. And this time around, I have this little wireless lapel uh, microphone. It's this really cool system, uh, but I don't know how well it's gonna do. So let's, uh, let's see, uh, let's give it a try. Hopefully this will improve the quality of the videos that I'm bringing you guys. Uh, let's give it a try. I've been watching your channel for a while now. Uh, I, the other day, I, I was watching and something hit, really hit me. That like you say, get up, get up, get out, and do something. And sometimes we bitch about your, about your lives and uh, how bitter you are. And 
and uh, you, have, you don't get to do anything, but it's true. All you have to do is just get up, get, get out and do something. So here we are, a couple of, friend, of our friends, uh, we decided to get, out, get up, get out and do something, come out here. I saw that you were posted on your channel that you were going to, you're going to be coming out. So we decided to come out and look for you guys and join you. Well, it's a little bit dark out here. Yeah, that's one thing. And uh, I, I'm what they like to call a bass fisherman. So this, this saltwater nonsense, I'm not really good at it. <laughs> so I'm just trying to throw a little bit of, a little bit of everything, see some fish bite. There was one time where I led David and, and the group of guys out here. Uh, there was a cold front and the water was all the way up to the dunes. And for some reason, I got stuck leading everybody out there. And uh, that was probably like one of the craziest and scariest things I've done. But uh, we got out there, it was pitch black. Uh, like I said, waves were crashing up against our trucks. And, and yeah, but, but during a storm, no, just during like a cold front and crazy, crazy waves. Take it home and fix it. <laughs> I think it has HDMI, but you know, you never know. Yeah, I, I think I think it just needs a couple of transistors, man. <laughs> I think it just needs the power cord. <laughs> we find the weirdest trash at the beach, but this item was no joking matter. Okay, guys, that is not right. A syringe. But, but look at how everybody's all barefoot out here. Barefoot? Woo. Barefoot syringe. Hey, right, make sure you get that toothbrush off. So, somebody's trying to. Toothbrush, yeah. syringe. Good God, man. I don't know. You got, uh. There you go. You got gloves? Yeah, I got shit. Dude, be careful with that thing, dude. That is just wrong, man. That's messed up. Holy shit. We're gonna leave uh, Mark and Brian uh, back out here. They're gonna stay the night. They already got their little camp going on, and uh, uh, we're we're we just getting for the day, so we're taking off. <clears throat> what an adventure we had! Uh, all sorts of craziness. I mean, we knew we were gonna come out here, and we knew we were gonna encounter um, bad weather that was kind of like the plan to walk you guys through it so that you could kind of see what we went through how bad it can get over here it wasn't as bad as we've seen it. I've seen it I've seen it worse to be honest with you I've seen it worse but we did notice uh, you know that it was almost impossible to fish it was so difficult to fish uh, out here and uh, we were casting I lost I lost my rod and reel. That sucked, right, son? Yeah. Yeah. What about you, man? I know, I know you're not very happy about the outcome, but did you still have fun? Yeah, it was, it was fun. Uh, uh, we encountered a lot of interesting things uh, on our way back, and as we were there at the beach, and uh, yeah, we did lose the rod, but I mean, at the end of the day, we had fun, so that's all that matters. Uh, met met a lot of new people today. Um, more and more folks keep you know driving by and saying hello. Uh, really warms our heart. I'm so I'm so glad that uh, you guys are able to stop by and say hello. Um, that that uh, really uh, makes it makes everything well worth it. Um, anyway, guys, if you like the video, if you enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button hit that share button um hit the upvote button you know like it uh that really helps the channel it really helps the algorithm you know pick up our humble little channel our little humble little videos uh but we plan on bringing you a lot more content you know as long as this quarantine thing you know doesn't impact us too much uh but anyway we'll see you guys on the next time right son yeah all right